It's been revealed the BBC is using covert surveillance methods to try and catch non-licensed fee payers, but with little success. At a cost of millions to the taxpayer, the broadcaster is pursuing fee dodgers with detector vans that don't work and using TV equipment which supposedly detects that is said to be struggling to keep up. According to a review by the Investigatory Powers Commissioner's Office, it turns out that only a small number of those busted are met with further enforcement action. Joining me now is Michael Cole, ex-BBC Royal Correspondent Extraordinaire. Michael, very good to see you. Welcome you. to the studio. Um, I find it incredible that everything the BBC touches these days seems to turn to the opposite of what Midas used to make it turn into. I don't know how bad this can get. Licence fee, Mike, is a poll tax yeah. nobody ever voted for. Mm. No taxation without representation. Mm. That was the slogan right. that lost us, the American Indeed. colonies. We were taxing the tea. The colonists didn't like it because the money was going back to London. They revolted. We lost the United States. What the poll tax is, is a tax on communication and even on knowledge. Mm. For 34 years, the BBC had an absolute mon monopoly on broadcasting in this country until ITV started in 1955. We've had this licence fee for all that time. Mm. It is extremely unpopular. It's extremely hard to enforce because now they don't even have the sanction of taking single mothers to court and yeah. sending them to prison. They yeah. can't do that. And who's, who's, who's paying now? Right. People like me are paying. Young people are not paying. No. They're not looking at it. Now, look, we lived, we grew up in a world where people watch Morecambe and Wise on Saturday yeah. night and Panorama on Monday. Yeah. They don't do it anymore. Right. Everybody's their own programme controller. Mm. I don't know how many channels there are now. You couldn't More count. You, could you count. couldn't count yeah. them. You couldn't count them. So it's a, a model that has run its course. The umpire's got to raise his finger and say, you've had a jolly yes. good innings, 101 years, go to the pavilion. It's over. Which begs the question, why are they still going after people for not paying the licence fee? And what is this about these bands? Because I remember being a child, watching those adverts on BBC saying, if you've got a TV and you haven't got a licence, when these weird vans will come around with a little mm. funny little hanger yeah. going round and round and round, yeah, and yeah. you're going to be in trouble. Nobody really was sure if they could detect if you had it. Now it seems they've got a modern version of that, which also doesn't work. I tell you, Michael, they never tried it in Northern Ireland. <laughs> no, I'm sure they didn't. I'm sure they didn't. <laughs> Collecting there. They would have lost a few. They, they, they would have lost a few. Um, in fact, uh, one, one of the uh, reporters uh, recently died, uh, when he would get a call of complaint at the BBC, yeah. he would say, oh, yes, madam, we're, gonna, we're going to log that. Could you just tell me the number of your licence fee? Yes. And then the phone was put <laughs> down very rapidly. Right. Look, it, 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 it's, it's over. Um, the the licence fee uh, depends upon the renewal of the Royal Charter in 2027. Yeah. I've written a chapter in a new book called How Do We Fund the BBC After 2027? And I've said we don't. Mm. I've said... Right, that village in Vietnam, it has to be destroyed in order to be saved. Mm. And it can be broken down. And then people can pay for what they want. For yeah. it. Because it, it is exceedingly unpopular and m far fewer people... And it keeps actually, going up in price as well. Of, of course, £169.50 That's at the ridiculous. Moment. It is a lot of money. And it's going up by, I think it's 8.5%, which is way beyond mm. the, the rate of inflation. It, it, it's invidious. It's an insidious tax. Yeah. And, and people don't like it and they'll be revolting against it. They don't see the purpose because they go months, mm. months without looking at the BBC. Yeah. And if you look at the programmes that old people like me want to see, like Country Fire yeah. or uh, Antiques Roadshow, they're now infiltrating them with politically correct yes. stuff, right. stuff about slavery, right. stuff about anything. The country Fire's a joke now. Well, indeed. You know. Indeed. What's it do? I live in the country. People mm. laugh at it. Yeah. it it's a, a, a townie's view yeah, it's of like, what the yeah, countryside somebody from, is. Somebody from but West it's all London. political. Yeah. It's all political. And they're, they're, they've got, you know, it's a self-electing uh, oligarchy yeah. of people from northwest London who think that they know best and their liberal views are going to be forced on the rest of us. It's an open marketplace. Mm. People should be able to look where they wish and communication should be free. Exactly right. And when they do finally strip it down and actually 
make people pay for the bits of it that they want. There's been an awful lot of shock and awe inside Broadcasting House by people who have worked there all their lives. They're suddenly going to have to find a way outside of Broadcasting House well, and make a living in the real world. Let me just tell you a statistic, OK, about the people who work there. When I joined in 1968, <laughs> there was an induction course and the brigadier who was running it, he said, there are 28,000 people in staff in mm. the BBC. Only 10% of them have anything to do with the programme. That included the messengers bringing the scripts round into yeah. the studio. Today, there are 22,000 members of staff, which is a reduction of yeah. 6,000. The difference is, in 68, the BBC made all its programmes. Mm. Now, they're all bought in. Yeah. They're all bought in. And BBC can hardly afford sport. It struggles to afford Wimbledon. Right. And, and it picks Didn't up... Didn't even have the Masters this weekend. Well, exactly. You know, I mean, so why? Not and that even used the highlights. To, and that used to be the jewel in the crown. Mm. I mean, it pains me to say so. I was very proud to work for BBC Television News for 20 years mm. and three months. I've got the scars. I can show you yeah. them. And I believed in public service broadcasting, and I still do believe in it. But I think this model of founding a, a huge corporation, mm. which is very wasteful, very bureaucratic, and uh, uh, it's, it's, it's gone beyond its... It's done. Thank you very much. It's you done. did a great job. It's over. Exactly right. Michael, thank you very much indeed.